At the same time I'm working with a client on improving their employee engagement, I had the distinct pleasure of working with a committee who conducted a fun one-day rally near St. Louis last weekend. The totally volunteer committee worked like a well-oiled machine to close county roads, staff start and finish controls, maintain safe spectator areas, coordinate medical response teams, time and score each of the seven sections, and in general, give the 18 entered racers on an enjoyable Saturday of racing on some of Missouri's finest rally roads. No complaining, no drama, even the new folks in this committee is continuously working on its own succession plan. Enjoyed the day, felt appreciated, and at the end, celebrated with a local charity cooked awards dinner. The next morning found them sorting all their equipment and debriefing their work from the previous day so they'd be prepared for the next event. One HR organization defines engaged volunteers with four pillars. Number one, they have an emotional connection to the organization. Number two, they have an emotional connection to their work role, personal pride, if you will. Number three, they share an emotional connection with the cause and or the beneficiaries. And four, They offer a sustained level of impassioned performance. Now, while a company believes it can manage some of these with their employees by manipulating compensation and benefits, a volunteer organization relies totally on its mission being attractive enough. Well, why is it some employees earning five and six figures sometimes have challenges being fully engaged and volunteers earning nothing can contribute hundreds of hours or even thousands in some year-round cases for absolutely no compensation, and perform flawlessly. I maintain it's the fit between what a person really, really wants to do and the task at hand, not the compensation. There's also a love component. Rally volunteers get a lot of love from their organizations, the competitors, the communities they perform in, and their fellow volunteers. A weekend of rallying can engage a thousand people, racers, crews, workers, and consider themselves a self-motivating tribe, Pretty much nobody gets paid, but they'll leave their families, and sometimes they'll bring them along, and drive from 50 to thousands of miles to voluntarily crew, work, cook, whatever is necessary to make an event a success. Occasionally, the members of this tribe suffer burnout, just like employees. It's why there's a continual work on a succession plan. But there are members of this particular group who've been doing this for almost 50 years, and most of the key members from this team have been doing it for at least 15 to 20. We find this in many other hobby volunteer organizations, biking, running, quilting, tractor pulling, you name it. It has to do with being involved or connected to an activity one loves and that loves them back. Don't you wish your employees could develop that kind of engagement? It's Kim, and this is another moment of clarity.